Hi guys, I'm Katie DeFrancisco and I'm a senior at Madison High School. Woo! Speaking of living fiercely and using your voice, we'd like Jariah Lobby, the Inspiration Award winner, to come up on stage. Uh, she's going to share an original spoken word poem that she wrote just for us. Please welcome Jariah. Hello everyone. Undecided fate. Fate is defined as the development of events beyond a person's control. Regarded as determined by a supernatural power, you would say it is the way our lives fold. Undecided, do I even need to explain this? Uncertainty, we all feel at least what I did. Now let me tell you a story. When I was younger, my parents, they used to think I didn't know what they talked about at night, try to hide and water it down and keep it out of sight. My father was dying and my family's crying and what can I do? Nothing. Nothing is all I'll ever be is what the voices in my head kept telling me, you see. I got a little older and I came to face my demon that is depression. I tried to make my family proud, suppress my feelings, and shroud the anxiety and the worry. Oh, hurry before it's too late. Oh, my undecided fate. I've had this thought so often I ought to fulfill this calling to which I belong in. But how? On oh, my undecided fate, just a blank slate, waiting to be written on by the hand of God. But how can that be possible when my confidence is fraud? Sometimes as a girl, I have to look up at the sky and truly wonder why we must try to be so hard. Be this, be that, be thick, but not fat, be thin. Always win. Why are these messages so drilled into our minds? Why are these messages so drilled into my mind that I must push others down? That my own self-confidence and worth I may find? This is a work of sin. The society has become so intoxicated with this mindset. How is one supposed to even feel comfortable in their own skin? But I digress, and years went by. Uh, a couple months ago, I was able to hold my dad's hand as he left this world, and he left this land of suffering and sorrow. It still slips through my fingertips, and I couldn't, it wouldn't matter how tight I held my grip and trust me. I tried to grasp with all my might and hope and pray that he just might stay with me. I didn't know why he had to leave, and I'm still so scared for the world to see. But in the end, I am glad the last words that left my lips as the spirit left his flesh was, Daddy, you could let go now. Please, Daddy, let go now because I learned something. It was my selfishness that wanted him there. I wanted to stay there and stare at the love he gave to me. Meanwhile, he was in pain. He was suffering, fighting for my family. He was fighting for me. And because of that, I now rejoice that he is free from the pains of this dark world and will forever be with me. And now I look back on this course of unfortunate events, and I think that my dad has stage four cancer. And I was looking for an answer, answers to who I am and who I am to be. And why in those moments I just could not see. Wanted to make my dad and my mom proud of me, hide behind my fears and shroud my anxiety and depression, suffocated by my flesh and using my troubles as a therapy session. Called myself a middle child, but I forgot that my dad, so were you. You were so easy to love. I forgot to put effort into it. To anyone, whoever hears these words, never forget to love those who are easiest to love because it becomes so easy to forget how to do it. And before I knew it, the person who was easiest to love flew away from me like wings that have a dove no longer in my arms but now dancing for you above. And I will never be able to fathom how my dad danced with my mom while a chemo bag hung at his hip when I would grovel in the ground in the dirt searching for a sip, a taste of what the world had to offer and become one with the scoffers, jeering at those who don't fit the mold and casting true love out, out to the cold and again thinking of myself, every pulsing of a person's heartbeat, every utterance of their quivering lips is a ripple, a disruption of its time and its rips, a consequence to every action and every flame that, is, that becomes lit in this vast universe we all coexist in and so I say to you, 16 years is but a raindrop in an ocean of time. And these words I say may just be some rhyme to you, but this story is mine. And this lesson, grab your glasses, because I hope that you can read between these lines that though it may see, we have this undecided fate. We get so wrapped up in ourselves till we realize it is too late, but our ripples of small decisions can become an ocean of good or a tsunami of bad. And you know what? Thanks to the teaching of my dad, it is never too late to decide what is an undecided fate. That was so awesome, Jordan. Can we get another round of applause?
Thank you.